Hi, it's Bill with GiantHydro.com, and today we're going to talk about ventilation. So if you're growing indoors, you need ventilation. So the basic rule of thumb is in your, when you're ventilating a room on the indoors, you basically have to have a, a venting fan that will be able to evacuate that room approximately every five to eight minutes. So if you have a 10 by 10 by 8 room, that's 800 cubic feet, then you would need approximately a 200 CFM fan to evacuate that room. Also, you need to bring in outside air to also help with the growth. Your outside air and your exhaust are two different strengths. Your, your intake is about one-third the strength of your exhaust. So and basically your exhaust, you want to have it up high so it exhausts the, the higher, hotter air, and your intake, you want to have at a lower point. Also within that room, you're going to want to have a fan that, uh, that is an oscillating fan that moves the air, moves it across the plants, and helps them to stay free of any kind of condensations, moistures, as well as it helps strengthen the plant by giving a little bit of movement that it would have on the outdoors. So it is important also to duct the heat from the light out of the room. So this, is, this would be the ducting that you would use, and you would duct it outside of the room. Your basic rule of thumb for a 1,000 watt light is 200 CFMs for one 1,000 light, 1,000 watt light. And so that's uh, your basic rule of thumb for ventilating a room, which is very important. It's very important also to bring in outside air because it has some CO2 in it. And your outside air, outside is typically three to 400 parts per million of CO2. And without that, the photosynthesis can't happen. So it's important to bring that outside air in. It's important to have the air moving inside the room. It's important to duct out the heat from the light. And this is Bill with GiantHydro.com. Until next time, thanks.